Good morning, happy Thursday. So it's about 20 of 10. I have a 10 o'clock nail appointment, so that's what I'm up and doing already this morning. My sheets are in the dryer. My towels are in the washer. So um, getting a little bit of stuff done this morning. Got to come back and do some more this afternoon, but going to get a fill done in the nails. Um, I'm going to see if she has, I had to make an appointment, but I'm going to see if she has time to also do a pedicure because it's been since March 6th and my nails need cut and they need done. My feet need done. But if not, I'll just have to make an appointment and come back another day. Um, and then I'm going to go to Kohl's because I do have some Kohl's cash that's only good for, what do they do it, like a week or something. So I have $20 in Kohl's cash. I want to see if they have anything worthwhile. And then... I think I'm going to make a quick, quick, <laughs> quick run into Bed Bath & Beyond. And then we're coming back. Oh, and I got to stop at the seafood store on the way home and get some fish for dinner. Mike wants fish. Okay, let's go. Nails are done. Just a kind of a pinkish nude color. Very basic. I have to keep it basic for work. Now, Bed Bath & Beyond. In my humble opinion, this is the best driving song ever. Nothing better than windows open, sunroof open, and stranglehold by Ted Nugent playing as you're driving. Yes, but that's just my opinion. Lunch. Yeah, I know it's pretty lame, but I want something quick. And I've got more work to do, so yeah, protein bar and some tea.
I didn't film everything I did upstairs, but besides what you saw, I did clean my bathroom, swept the entire upstairs, mopped my bathroom floor, folded my towels. So I'm done cleaning for the day. I swept down the stairs. So now I'm working on dinner. So I've made Mike a big old salad. I'm not going to eat a salad tonight, um, TMI, but I've been having some issues with the bag. I'm thinking I'm getting a little too much roughage, so I need to back down a little bit. So um, I'm not having a salad, but I am gonna have some cooked broccoli and cauliflower. That'll be enough roughage. I don't need a salad on top of that. So my grouper for Lay's, they just have some seafood magic seasoning on with some pats of butter and they're gonna go in the toaster oven on the convection setting. Michael is at the dentist getting his teeth cleaned right now, so as soon as he texts me that he's on his way, um, I'll get things moving. Ooh, I gotta get my scallops out. yummy sorry I just ate a little peppermint patty um, but yeah dinner is very good so I wanted to end the night by showing you some a book that I just finished and two that I am currently reading the one I just finished was Matthew McConaughey's book that he just put out called green lights y'all have got to read this book I've never been one to um, put like celebrities up on a pedestal um never you know idolized musicians or actors and actresses and just i just we're all the same to me you know some people have talents in some areas that are different from others and yeah they could be extremely talented but i again i've never just like some people have an obsession that's not me so I've never been one to read biographies or autobiographies about famous people. It just wasn't something that interested me. But I saw another YouTuber that I follow um, recommend this book. So, and I trust her judgment on a lot of things. It's um, Jennifer from In With Jen looking to if you're looking to level up your life at all when it comes to mental physical spiritual she is very very positive influence so anyway she recommended this book wow i am so glad i read it like this is the fastest i've ever read a book his stories from his life growing up and even his life as an adult in hollywood and now his life away from Hollywood are just fascinating, comical, um, enlightening, just, it was an easy read, a really good read. And it made me respect him more than what I already did. He's one of the good guys from Hollywood, um, that kept himself out of trouble and, did things the right way and and listening to him tell his story I have even more respect for him now than what I ever did so I encourage you to get that book it's wonderful so what I'm currently reading this one was recommended from another youtuber was this I think this might have also been in with Jen I'm not positive who recommended this one Jamie Kern Lima is the founder of It Cosmetics, um, and her Rags to Riches story is wonderful. 
So I, I'm reading that one right now. Um, just started it. Uh, really like it so far. Um, right now I'm getting a lot of the backstory, but apparently the book itself is called Believe It, How to Go from Underestimated to Unstoppable. So more of a self-help type book is what I'm going to label it. But again, I, I'm not that far in, but so far I really like it. And another one that I'm currently reading at the same time as that one, just because they're two completely different books, um, and this is more of a reference book, it's called Eat Dirt by Dr. Josh Axe. Dr. Axe um, is who founded the company Ancient Nutrition, which is who I buy my collagen powder from. My gut health, obviously, y'all know, is not the greatest. But what I am learning in this book, unbelievable, in how your gut actually controls the health of your entire body. Everything from your brain function to your immune system, um, autism, um, my issues that I struggle with such as PCOS and metabolic syndrome and borderline diabetic, um, insulin resistance, you know, all that stuff can be traced back to an unhealthy gut. And I am kind of like hooked on this book and I can't put it down. Listening to or reading about the people that he has healed by changing their diet is just amazing. And looking at the standard American diet, it's no wonder. I mean, it, this, the science is out there. The, the data is out there showing the correlation between the um, introduction of processed foods in the American diet to all of a sudden we have new diseases. The introduction of fast food as a staple in American diet, now we have even more diseases. Our autoimmune diseases are just going through the roof, but our diet is worse than ever. And even foods that disguise themselves themselves as healthy are just horrible. And in the little bit of reading I'm doing, I'm seeing, you know, good decisions that I'm making, but I'm also seeing bad decisions that I thought were good. Um, so I'm anxious to get to the end of this book to see if I wanted to really go full force into a program to heal my gut. Um, obviously it's a little difficult for me right now um, to do a lot of work on the gut just because my gut is not normal at the moment and I'm getting ready to get completely filleted open again here in a month um, but I'm thinking changing doing a complete overhaul to a diet that's going to be you know a good healer for my colon um, is going to help me bounce back quicker after this next big surgery. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I noticed just in the last few days, not, not so much the last two days, like um, that last weekend, Sunday and Monday were kind of really rough days for my colostomy and, um, I was trying to trace back, you know, what I had eaten the day before. I was having some issues with it um, and stuff that I thought was healthy that I was eating is causing me some issues. And then I start doing research in this random, this random book and I'm thinking, well, I thought what I ate was good for me. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, obviously what I ate tonight was not the, not horrible, but you know, the amount of butter that I consume, not the best choice. I should switch to ghee, which is clarified butter to make it really good. Um, 
but yeah, little little things like that, that, you know, I have a diet that's not horrible, but I could still tweak it to make it better. So you might start, start seeing that in some of my videos. I think in order to make a lot of these changes, I may have to do away with the actual meal planning for a while, which sucks because I got my new carry-all meal planner. <sighs> But, I mean, who knows, I can get back to that eventually, but I'm thinking if I'm going to tweak here and there, I don't know if I could, if I can do it, like, because there's so much mental work involved, to try to do it for a whole week out might overwhelm me. So, um, I'll let you know stuff that I'm reading in this book and um, how... I'm going to implement uh, some changes in mine and Mike's diet. But the first part of the book um, was on the link between this so-called leaky gut syndrome, as they like to call it, and the amount of autoimmune diseases in our society. And going over all the, the statistics and data and facts that he lays out just is jaw-dropping. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm amazed, astonished, impressed, and appalled all at the same time. <laughs> so I think that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to continue reading while Mike's in the shower. Um, and we're not doing anything the rest of the night. He's washing his car rags. Um, and he'll get those, some of them in the dryer and some of them he hangs up. And then he's going to go to bed. And we finished Ray Donovan, so we don't have any shows we're watching currently. Um, except I'm, I watched New Amsterdam and, um, I hadn't watched it in several weeks as I was all caught up while well, they, um, the first six episodes of episode th or of, of season three are on Peacock. So last night after he went to bed, I started watching New Amsterdam again. So that's what I'm going to watch before I go to bed. So tomorrow's Friday. It's farmer's market day. So we'll see what I pick up at the market tomorrow. I'm having breakfast with one of my friends that I worked with at American Airlines named Stacy. If you've been watching me for a while, she's the one that had the in-ground swimming pool and a bunch of us would go down there and it would be like, you know, a, yeah, a drunk fest in the pool. <laughs> wow, stuff I used to do. <laughs> she doesn't live down there anymore so she doesn't have the pool anymore but where she moved to was only five miles from me which is a bit dangerous um but she doesn't have a pool but she's getting one put in so god i love her to death but oh my when her and i are together we consume way too much wine but i have not been drinking at all um Again, when the kids were home, I think I'd mentioned this in a previous video, when Ryan and Caitlin came home back in December. December? January? When were they here? I don't remember. When they surprised me. Anyway, I had one margarita. I haven't been drinking any wine. The sulfites in wine, it bothers my knees. I'll be the first one to admit, when I drink wine the next day, my knees are killing me. Um, and sulfites are linked to inflammation. So I have not been drinking any wine. Um, Y'all know I'm not a beer drinker. And other than that, tequila. When the kids are home, I haven't been drinking. So, I, yeah, consider me sober. So Stacy and I are going for breakfast. <laughs> and I got to go to work anyway. So even a Bloody Mary or mimosa for breakfast is out of the question. So, yeah, tomorrow is Friday, but it's actually my Monday. Um, getting used to this new schedule, not bad. I'm, I'm liking it. I, I'm, I'm really so far liking working the weekends and having off through the week when I can shop and do my errands and stores aren't busy. So is that all I wanted to tell you? I think. Yeah, I think. All right, I'm going to sign off. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I will talk to you soon. Good night.